Hi guys, welcome to my 100 sub Q&A. Um, thank you to all of you who were kind enough to submit a question and to well, help make this video possible. The first question is from Dino's Ways and also from Jess Loves ASMR. Which country do you live in? Um, I live in Belgium, home of the the waffles, the fries, and the beer. Um, and Jess loves ASMR. Also had another question: What made you do ASMR? Um, and this question was also asked by Joelica sixty four. Um, he asked what got you into the whole ASMR thing. Um, that all kind of started a few years ago. Um, for some reason I was having difficulty sleeping and I can't even remember how but I just came across some ASMR video. I don't know which one exactly. If I did remember I would link it but I honestly can't remember um, and that really helped me to you know relax before going to bed and I have played with the idea of uh, making ASMR videos myself for quite a while but to be honest I'm I didn't think I could do it for a few reasons um, well, I'm very camera shy, as you might be able to tell from the video, but I'm just kind of awkward in front of cameras. And I assumed that would, you know, that would make me not make very good ASMR videos. Um, I did start a gaming channel a few years ago. Well, actually, yeah, a little over a year ago, and that never really caught on. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some videos still don't have any views. Um, and I think that channel didn't have much success because I, well, I'm, I'm not entertaining enough. I mean. To have a successful gaming channel you pretty much need to be hyper all the time and be kind of shouty. Maybe that's a bit of a, a generalization. <laughs> you know, I felt like I was always a bit too mellow to make really entertaining gaming videos and I never thought of combining gaming and ASMR like a gaming videos but in a more calm way, a more relaxing way. Um, but then I don't know, I think I watched or I, I think I came across some uh, some ASMR, well ASMR artists who did make gaming videos and that just kind of got me thinking about making videos like that myself and so I think it was in June I just decided to try it out and so far it seemed to work out well um, then next question by ACVRG do you skate? not anymore I did skate for a while when I was uh, 13 or 14 with a friend, the only friend I had who skated. Um, but I, well, I didn't stick with it at all. Again, for a few reasons. Um, one, I was very scared to go to skate parks because I would, well, I knew I wasn't very good and I was afraid that the good cool skaters would laugh at me for being bad at it 
um, and I also just I never got any better probably because I didn't have a lot of people to skate with anyway um, but yeah there, there wasn't one point when I decided to quit it just kind of yeah faded because I got interested in other things also and because I didn't have any good places to skate so maybe that's why I like this skate game so much because well they're the, the closest thing to being able to skate is to play the skate games Um, then Mr. Honeybuns asks, did you move or is your gaming set up in a new spot now? Um, we haven't moved since last September. So, um, the answer to both questions is no. Um, I'm assuming you're asking because of the different angle, because I don't usually record in this angle so that might be why you're asking um, then W3434N asks who are your favorite ASM artists um, I have a few actually there's Evergreen ASMR um, Misha Shivers Soft Serenity ASMR Plays and uh, the ASMR, ouch, that was my shoulder, the ASMR cat. Um, in general, I don't really like role-playing games and just videos that focus too much on aural triggers. Um, I prefer videos where the, well, whoever makes the video just talks and does whatever things in a relaxing way if that makes any sense yeah like the really well the more intense ASMR subgenres like mukbang and you know role plays I think are to me at least more distracting than relaxing because they're so intense so I, yeah, I, I just prefer videos where the ASMR part is not excessively present, if that answers your question. Um, Gopher Plays asks, do you know who Davey504 is? If so, do you subscribe or not? Um, when I read your question, I didn't even know who he was. But as it turns out, I did watch a few videos, um, specifically the 100 baseline, no, 100 amazing baseline video, where it's just like a, a medley of 100 baselines in one video. That was really cool. But I am not subscribed to him, and I, well, I don't follow him actively. shoulder keeps popping um, another question by uh, from Joelica 64 are you still working on music and do you consider playing your stuff in a band again um, I am still playing by myself though um, I haven't been writing as much music mostly because I'm just not very inspired at the moment and I have, you know, I have quite a lot of stuff on my mind lately. Which should be an incentive to write more, but for me that just makes me want to write less. Um, I am also teaching bass. For now it's just one student every week. But I'm, I'm hoping there will be more students in the future so I can make it 
at least kind of a part-time thing. Um, I do want to keep, you know, I do want to keep doing something in music, but my main issue is just that to be successful in music, you pretty much always have to be an actively gigging musician, and that's just not something I can see myself doing in the long run. Um, ideally, I'd like to be in kind of a band um, where I could work on writing new stuff with other people, but there wouldn't be a lot of focus on actually performing that music, which is maybe a bit strange for a musician, but, you know, I'm... I know I'm really not cut out to be on stage a lot. Um, then the next question by Evergreen ASMR. What is your all-time favorite game and why? Um, that's a very tricky question. So I think I'm going to split it into a few categories. Um, in terms of hours played, my favorite would definitely have to be The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, well, Rebirth and Afterbirth. Um, I think I'm at 630 or so hours, which is a lot, I know. Um, and it's going to be at least I don't know, two or three hundred hours more by the time I'm done and have a hundred percent. Um, the most immersive game I'd say would have to be The Witcher 3. Especially the first few weeks of playing. I haven't played it in a while actually, but that's mostly because I have other games I want to finish first. Um, but yeah, that's just the size of the game and, uh, you know, the depth of the whole story and everything in the world is just so, so, yeah, well, just immersive and I feel, it really feels like a real place almost, just because of how how detailed and how much there's to see and how seamless the world is put together. Um, in terms of story, if I look purely at the story, I think I would have to say The Last of Us or Uncharted 4. I'm kind of hesitant to say Uncharted 4 because I haven't played the first three games, which, well, which means I've only seen a quarter of the story, but that game, I, I just couldn't stop playing it. Yeah, uh, those two games are also my favorite games in terms of graphics, because I, well, I just, I love to marvel at the scenery in games. And The Last of Us and Uncharted 4 have some really spectacular graphics and just environments to, to walk around in. Um, actually, I, su I should say, with most immersive, would have to be uh, Beyond Two Souls as well. Because both times I've played that game, it's always been a one session deal. So, you know, start playing at 10 in the morning or so and keep going until pretty late at night just to be able to finish it in one sitting. Um, but if I really have to pick one favorite of all those games, it would have to be... Binding of Isaac. 
it's a really tough call, but if I think of all the frustrations I've had with that game, but also the, you know, the moments of success, you know, that game is really special. Um, then a related question from ASMR plays. If you could only play one game for the rest of your life, what game would it be? Again, probably The Binding of Isaac because it's it's never the same. You know, runs are never exactly the same. There's so much noise for a Sunday. Um, yeah, you know, it's never the same and especially if they're gonna keep making new DLCs for it or completely new games um, there will always be more stuff to find the more items to find the more challenges to do and more characters to play with more enemies more bosses just more everything um, oh. I have been thinking about No Man's Sky just because of the sheer size of the game that is a game you could play forever um, but as it is right now it's just not my first pick because it gets kind of boring for me but then again if they make it VR compatible then that will really change the whole experience of the game and then I might be able to see myself playing that for a very long time again sorry about all the noise it's really a lot more noisy than I was hoping it would be um, Ben Duke asks uh, what my favorite holiday is and where I want to travel the most. In general, I'm not really a big fan of holidays because they, in my head, they're synonymous with busyness and just, you know, they're never really relaxing for me. Uh, but if I'd have to pick one, I'd have to, well, I guess New New oh, wow. New Year's Eve I really enjoy mostly because it's one of the rare holidays that I can celebrate at home and I don't know it's just always kind of a a special occasion um, even though <laughs> most of the time it's well, mo most years it's just watching TV and maybe go watch the fireworks but I just enjoy holidays without any hassle or stress or having to drive very far because pretty much all my fam all my family lives very scattered across across Belgium so whenever there is a family reunion somewhere it's it usually takes quite a while to even get there and that always kind of distracts from <laughs> the occasion um, yeah, the, the travel question I, well I, I should say we because my girlfriend and I, we share favorite holiday destinations uh, we'd really like to go to Iceland and to Canada and New Zealand yeah, my, my sister has been to New Zealand for a few months and judging by the pictures alone it's a really amazing country and they have the whole Lord of the Rings tour you can do which sounds really awesome And I'm not even sure if you can see this in Iceland, but we both really want to see the Northern Lights. 
And I know you can see that, well, fairly commonly in Norway. But I'm not sure if you can see it in Iceland, but that would be a very nice bonus if you could, because that would be another reason to want to go to Iceland. cars and then the last question from Kimberly Kate uh, where would you like to see your channel in the next year and do you have any Christmas ASMR videos planned um, I guess I just hope to see my channel grow in every way you know, more subscribers more viewers just a larger audience because that would really that's really the main motivation why I keep doing this is just because it's because a fair amount of people seem to enjoy it which is very nice to see obviously um, especially if I can get my PC sorted out um, very soon, hopefully. Because I'm, I'm saving, I'm saving up for a proper PC because my laptop is very much running on its last legs. Um, so if I have a proper PC, I can make better videos, and I have um, a very or a much larger selection of games I can make videos of and yeah that would really be awesome um, Christmas ASMR videos not specifically I mean I don't have any Christmas props unless I uh, decorate myself with uh, I don't even I don't even know what it's called, like Christmas decorations. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about that because it's not something I've thought about at all. But it would be fun to have some holiday themed video. Actually, I was lying about the Christmas decorations because I do have this thing. It was in a Kinder Surprise, which has a, a Christmas themed surprise in it, apparently. Yeah, I don't think that's enough to make it count as a Christmas video, it's just that little elf. <laughs> okay, those are all the questions. Um, I hope I satisfied you with the answers and if not then well just leave a comment and I'll try to answer it better there <laughs> um, yeah thanks again for posting the questions and I will see you guys in the next video